23 in the United States is going to be a challenging year. Um, uh, you know, re recessionary risks abound. Um, I think the year will start off in a, in a sluggish way. I think you get to the middle of the year, I think it's gonna to start to feel pretty recessionary at that point. Unfortunately, I think as we get to the, even to the end of the year, even if a recession is already called, right, even if it's already over, I think the reality there is that you're, you're still gonna exist in this very sluggish backdrop. Um, I, I, and again, this is for 23, but I'll tell you ahead uh, in advance, for 24, you're probably looking at still sluggish backdrop. Inflation is going to continue slowing down in the United States in 23. Uh, I, I think that that is a pretty high conviction view for us at this point, particularly at the core level. Core inflation could easily be holding a three handle by the middle of the year. I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if it's holding a two handle by the end of the year. Just keep in mind too, a lot of that is even before all of these Fed rate hikes are biting. A lot of this is actually inflation slowing organically. Um, so we feel pretty comfortable with the inflation call at this point. We think the year will start with the Fed continuing to hike rates. We think the hiking cycle will come to an end early in the year. By the middle of the year, I think people are going to be start, uh, talking about cuts. Um, and I don't think that this is going to be a big, aggressive easing cycle. I think that this is probably a couple of cuts, uh, at least in 23. But even beyond that, I just don't think that this is going to be one of these, you know, getting to the zero lower bound um, cycles. Uh, because the reality is, we just don't expect economic activity is going to slow enough to warrant the Fed to aggressively ease. We think the consumer is going to be challenged much as the broader economic backdrop will be. That stems from a, a couple of key uh, realities. One is that the labor backdrop we think is going to deteriorate as uh, the year progresses. Um, you could easily see the unemployment rate rise to around 5%. Um, if that happens, what's going to sort of come along with that is a reduction in wages, uh, wage pressures. Um, and we think that that will be enough um, to sort of really get the consumer into this place that's, you know, again, recessionary and probably feels that way over the balance of 23. Right now, we expect only modest job losses when they do finally materialize in 23. But I think there's a really important idea that's being missed. So if I think about um, uh, corporate profits, and as an economist, I like to look at something called net value add. It's basically the economist version of profits. Net value add in the first half of 22 um, was uh, running around a 12% pace, but that's in nominal terms. If you look at it in real terms, meaning inflation adjusted terms, it was actually pretty close to flat. So think about what that means. That means that the only reason why we had profits really was because uh, companies were able to pass on um, these price increases. What it also means is that the volume of spending was also pretty close to flat. Think about that now as we sort of, you know, uh, move along into the second half of, of 22. What we know is that the volume of spending remains, you know, pretty, pretty sluggish. So what would companies do to defend profit margins. They're going to do the same thing that they always do, which is to say, go after labor. The problem for me then, if, I, if I'm making a call that you're only looking at you know, sort of modest job losses, um, those modest job losses could turn into meaningful job losses depend, depending on what happens from a, a profits perspective as 23 unfolds. This content is based on information available at the time it was recorded and is for informational purposes only. It is not an offer to buy or sell or a solicitation, and no recommendations are implied. It is outside the scope of this communication to consider whether it is suitable for you and your financial objectives.